Hey guys, this is going to be an unboxing video, uh, and probably a, well, it might be a longer video, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, for an iPhone, um, now, ooh, trying to balance my camera here, uh, this is the first iPhone, or Apple product, I would ever have owned, much less touched or used. I have never had anything to do with Apple in my entire life. That's the only reason I'm doing this video. I've always been an Android girl. Currently, I'm using a Samsung S6 Edge. And um, I'll probably do a comparison thingy in another video or maybe this video if this one's short enough. But uh, there's a lot of apps that I want to try that are specifically for Apple. And it's been like this for a while, you know, everything, Apple, 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 Apple. And it's just been like, oh my God. And I've always bitched and complained, you know, fuck Apple. What about us? I've, you know, us Android users, Android users are always left out. Or if like there's a photography app or something, you can guarantee that the app will have like maybe five filters for Android, but then like 20 for fucking Apple. And it just got kind of old. So I was really curious and wanted to try an iPhone. So this is an iPhone 6S Plus, I believe. And like I said, I've never used an iPhone. I've never touched an iPhone. I've never, I've nothing. Um, I bought Logan, uh, an iPod, like a $300 iPod a couple Christmases ago. And um, my son has an iPhone, like a really old one. Um, but I've never messed with it, and so yeah, that's it. So I've just undone this to make it easier for the video, but I haven't looked at it yet. Well, it's a little bit heavy. See, my um, my Samsung is quite big, so that's what I'm going to be looking at first of all, size comparison. This is the box. They've been sold out of this everywhere, like every single place I've looked, they've been sold out. And the one I really wanted was the, um, the space gray one, but, oh well, this is silver. It was very, very tightly wrapped, um, and it is, it is a bit weighty. See if I'm gonna be able to open this. I don't think that this box would be wrapped because I don't think that any of my Androids have been wrapped. I also have had a uh, an HTC in the past, and um, it was a I don't remember what it was called One X Plus, uh, and of course you know Nokia and stuff, but um. I've tried a great number of phones looking for my perfect phone. Like, I've gone through, I can't even remember how many phones. And HTC was my second best, but it, the um, system wasn't able to be updated. And so it quickly became, like, obsolete. I couldn't update any of my apps. I couldn't do anything. And so that's why I moved on. And then Samsung, I hate Samsung, but so far that has been the best Android I've ever used. So this is kind of actually intimidating. I know that's pretty stupid, but I'm kind of scared. I've just never, never used anything Apple. It's it's thin, but it's not. I don't know. It's not um, not too thin. My Edge, I got the Edge because I thought it was pretty cool to have the screen wrap around to the sides and stuff and be quite thin. But the thing is, is that it's too thin, and you can't use it without a cover on it. So um. Yeah, uh, that sucks. This is actually a lot nicer to hold than my Edge. And it's just got the charging cable. That's pretty cool. I don't really have headphones for any of my things. I can't use any earbuds like this because my ear holes are actually too small. And um, these hurt really bad. So I'm not going to be able to use these, unfortunately. But that's really cute. I know a lot of people hate Apple because they're like, eh, it's just the name, but that's actually pretty cool. The, the packaging for this is much nicer than the phones I've had in the past, so I'm quite impressed with that. 
I have a life proof case coming hopefully soon I just ordered it yesterday and uh, from eBay so it'll take about a month to get here but that was like $120 but I really don't want to break my iPhone because I'm a klutz and I drop stuff and uh, I heard that the camera on this is really good as well so I guess I have to take that off it is really pretty it's oh man it went to the front too damn I don't want to take that off I'm gonna see if I can get away with leaving this on I just made air bubbles damn it I'm stupid I'll find a way to cut that off. How does this go? Gosh. So, um, so far, it's pretty impressive. Um, it looks to be pretty good quality and quite heavy. Um, this is a first impression for someone who's never touched an Apple product before. I've got no previous experience with the operating system, what it looks like turned on, what the menus look like, what the actual product looks like, size-wise or anything. So while I didn't want a silver one, it's not too bad, and I'm really excited. This is going to be fun. I'm going to charge this up. I'm going to use this for a little bit, and before I jailbreak it, I'm going to give a side-by-side -side comparison of what I think of this and my Samsung. Sorry, this probably wasn't much. Um not much to really say because I can't turn it on yet, but I'm impressed so far, you know, for all the, the, I hate Apple people. Um, it's kind of intimidating, but I see nothing wrong with phone as of yet. Uh, of course I wouldn't, but, um, it looks promising and it looks to be made pretty well. It's not like a crappy plastic, anything. It's, I don't know. It's really cool. And I look forward to using it. So I guess I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, this is going to be an iPhone versus Android comparison, not really review, but more opinion video. And so I got on this plan just like my Android where I paid off over two years. And um, let me just tell you straight off the bat, if I hadn't already bought a $120 life proof case, um, before I got the phone, just because I know I'm clumsy and I don't want to bust the glass, I would have returned it. <laughs> iPhone is absolute shit. I don't know if you guys like it. If you do, then, you know, whatever. But personally, I can't stand it. So let's start with the comparison. I've still got the, uh, the plastic that it came with on it because I don't want to damage it. So, um... Let me just take the case off of my Android so it's uh, normal. So this is the Samsung S6 Edge. And this is an iPhone um, 6S Plus. <laughs> um, so size-wise, this is the difference. The iPhone is quite... Oh, that's really glossy. It's quite a bit bigger than my Samsung. It's quite a bit thicker, but then again, this is an edge, so it's supposed to be thin. Um, what I do like about the iPhone is that it seems like the display is a lot clearer. Um, the normal wallpapers, I would never use a normal wallpaper on here. I would only use a live wallpaper. It's all fingerprinty. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> um, I would only use live wallpapers here. Here, I noticed live wallpapers do not seem to work. I don't know what the hell is going on, but it seems like you can't really do much with this. So to turn it on, this is supposed to be a live wallpaper and it's supposed to animate, but it doesn't. I've heard that it only animates on one screen and not the other, like maybe your home screen. I don't think it animates on the home screen. I think it's only supposed to animate on the lock screen or vice versa, but I've had live wallpapers on both and none of them animate. So I've got this and that's my main background. So I've been downloading apps like crazy. So I have this whole thing here full of apps. 
um, on my Samsung. So, let me show this one. So I think I've got the I've got the brightness turned down. So that's the Samsung, and I've got this awesome live wallpaper that's just butterflies flapping around and stuff. And see, I have this themed. I have this. Um, this is semi rooted with the 6s plus it's very hard to root and keep it rooted i've tried and then it updates and then it unroots and even though it's rooted some apps will say needs full root so it's like it is fully rooted uh, it just doesn't make sense but with the newer phones i guess it gets harder and harder this is not jailbroken i've been unable to jailbreak it because it's the latest and there's no jailbreak for it as far as i know i don't know what could change with it but hopefully it would give me a bit more control over everything because here I've got, see if I go here, oh, I've got some games I haven't tucked away yet, but I can um, hide away my apps. So these are all the apps that I've got hidden. So I have all of those hidden which is awesome. I can change my home screen. I can put my widgets on. I can do whatever I want. And um, I really, really love the options on this phone. I love that it has a back button. I love all that stuff. Now, and that you can do that too. You can do close all. Here, what pisses me off is that there's no back button. So if you open something like Safari, which is really ugly, um, so you open it and it's like, okay, yeah, I don't know if it'll focus, but you've got this back button sometimes. It, there's no real like description. You've got, I, you don't know how many times I've sat here pushing this, pushing this, and you've got to push this. Like this is going to get way too much use. Um, messages are really ugly, like really, really ugly. So this is a messaging, um, you know, on this versus over here, which um, the messages are much prettier. So this is what it looks like here. I can have go SMS. I can change stuff. My keyboard looks like this. I've got swipe and all that stuff over here can't change the keyboard really like that's that's what swift key looks like here and you have like three options for a keyboard and you cannot change it so that you get your number row which is also really bad because say my password you know passwords now you have to have capitals and you have to have numbers when you go to have numbers you have to go here and just interrupt your typing and I just find it really distracting and then of course you've got a hard push on that to get back out of it um, so the only pro with an iPhone on my side, aside from the fact that the, dis the display seems really crisp and nice, is that there are indeed a lot more photo apps for iPhone. It seems to only be the photo apps now because it's not jailbroken and I can't sideload my apps. I can't download my cracked apps, which I am really big on cheats and cracks and things like that. Like I won't play a game unless I can cheat at it. That's just my personal preference. I've got a really short attention span and I don't want to like when I was younger, I'd spend days sitting in front of the TV, just playing and playing and building up my characters and earning money and doing everything and all that good stuff. But now that I'm older, I don't know, for some reason I just can't focus and I'm like, ugh. Really, I'm only level two. Fuck this shit. Where are my cheats, you know? And um, with this, because I can, I can side load or whatever you call it. I can download APK files, and I I've got nothing but cracked games on here. I wanted that for games and cracked apps. I can't use anything like Freedom, free in-app purchases. I can't do anything like that on that phone. Really, it's virtually useless for me. And I find the setup extremely hard to understand. You can't really do anything. There was no guide. You just kind of set it up and then don't even get me started on iTunes and the fact that you can't just plug and play. That is, oh my fucking God. 
With Android, I can plug it in, plug it into the computer, I can drag and drop, I can directly deposit my pictures, my music, my contacts, whatever I want, into the phone. With Android, you or iPhone, you can't do that. You have to use, I like, I'm having to use AnyTrans, PhonePaw, VShare, and another one. Um, what the fuck is this called? Uh, and Airmore, just to get my pictures and my music on here. That's it. So if I have a picture and I want to get rid of it, it's not that fucking easy. Like I, I had used iTunes, couldn't get my pictures on. I used one of these other ones, just dragged the whole album on, decided I didn't want half the pictures on there, and I couldn't just delete delete, delete. It was choose all or one by one. And when you're dealing with like 140 pictures, I'm sorry, but that is way too long. Almost every app in the app store costs. The apps are not free like they are on Android. And there doesn't seem to be as many apps, which is weird because I swear to fuck when I was looking for my apps, everything came up Android, but now that or oh God, I keep saying Android, everything came up iPhone. But now that I have an iPhone, there's really not much that I'm seeing. There's hardly anything. It's Masquerade and this one app called Boo are the two that have lots of like masks and cool effects. And really that's about it. That's all iPhones really got going for it. Um, I just can't believe how hard it is. It is not user friendly whatsoever. It should not be this complicated to understand how to open your phone and put pictures and movies and stuff, having to cloud share everything and upload it to your Dropbox or whatever the fuck, you shouldn't have to do all that. You should just be able to plug it in on off on off. That's it. The Android phone is so user friendly. Like I really, really wish that I had a way, like I, I so regret buying that damn life proof case because I'm really not happy with the iPhone and now I'm going to be stuck paying $2,000 over the course of two years for this fucking phone. That is basically a fucking really irritating, not user friendly piece of shit, but you live and you learn. I mean, I'm, I'm basically 40 years old and I'd never even touched an iPhone before. And I know first world problems or whatever, but I was curious and you know, I got this other phone over a year ago and I know that's, that's not long. I love it to death, but I just, I don't know. I was just curious and wanted to try something. And, um, I had been really holding out for an iPad, couldn't get approved for it. iPhone was the only thing I got approved for and I decided to take it while I could. And so I did. And now I kind of regret it. I regret it, but I don't because now I know that I hate it. Um, whereas I would have always been like, oh, I want an iPad. And so I finally got one and I just, I don't even know. It's just, um, really, really hard to use. If I am able to jailbreak it and fix it up, make it a bit more user friendly, um, then, or maybe if a later update comes and actually animates the live wallpapers and things like that, I might like it more. Where it stands at this point, I find it extremely hard, extremely irritating. There's no back button. Put a fucking back button on. Do you not know how hard it is that you can't go back half the time? You have to exit out of an app to go to like another screen. You can't just minimize, choose another window easily. You know, like I've had to look up every step of the way how to use this damn thing. Whereas you should just be able to plug it in and just, okay, you could probably do this and figure it out. Even when I first got my first Android phone, I did not have this much trouble and iTunes wouldn't load my pictures. It wouldn't load anything. And it took like an hour to figure out how to put the music on. And it was just, it's just overly confusing, overly hard, not friendly, not user friendly. I don't know what they were thinking, but it is not cool. I do not like it. And, um, that's my, opinion. I would choose Android any day. I love my Android phone like a billion times more since getting that uh, iPhone, but I will still continue to work with it and give it a shot because you kind of have to. It's just very ugly. I hate that you can't customize like anything. Can't put your fonts on. Like I've got my fonts on here, there, uh, I've got like my special font on there and stuff. And, um, that's called romance fatal serif, which is my favorite font of all time. 
and uh, I can do that. I can add a font. I can add a, a text messaging program. I can add Go SMS. I can't do anything on iPhone, and I just can't stand the stock custom anything that comes with anything. I like to customize everything I get my hands on, and so for me, that's a really big thumbs down. Um, hope this was interesting. Uh, for any of you that have no experience with iPhone stuff like I did, um, I hope this helped. If you have a choice or chance, I would definitely recommend not trying it, not unless you ultimately totally have to get it out of your system like I did. Otherwise, yeah, stick with Android. If I'm doing something wrong and you guys are loving iPhone and you've got any easy tips tricks, anything, please feel free to let me know. Anything that would make my experience with iPhone better or easier, um, think of it as iPhone for dummies, because obviously I'm a dummy. I can't figure it out. Uh, maybe I'm just too set in, in Android ways. I'm having a really hard time grasping the way that iPhone is completely different. But if you guys have got anything to share with me, please feel free and I will check out everything you tell me, but uh, especially jailbreak. When you hear of a jailbreak coming out, Please let me know because uh, that's what I'm holding out for. 